but it's a very important one. Things that happen when things aren't going your way. Comment down below if you've ever had this happen to you, but you've had a week or a month where everything seems to be going sideways and it feels like you can't control anything that's happening in your life. And it seems like it's just spinning out of control. Things are just going sideways, left, right, and center. A quick video about the three steps that I take that helped me through that whole process. As a Christian, the first thing I do, step number one, is to give it all to the Lord. That is the first thing that happens because at the end of the day, he's the one that is uh, going to be able to figure this out. You're, he's the one working for you and with you to make sure that you can go through this uh, time, the difficult time that you're uh, walking, uh, walking in. And again, there's uh, so many different verses, but the one verse that uh, really does come to mind, and I want to read it for you guys here, Romans 12, 19 to 21. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals onto his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. If you can do that and you can work through this uh, and giving that vengeance to the Lord, um, I it is, it is something that really does help me get through very difficult times, understanding that I can't control them anyways. And not being angry is the best form of getting through difficult times. The second thing that I always do is I always look at, regardless of how uh, crappy the situation is, I always look at how can I learn from what just happened and how do I maintain um, a sense of completeness. There's There's gotta be a lesson in everything that happens to me. I, I look at my life as a, as a growth opportunity. So even when things are going sideways, you know, I gotta, okay, is the good, is the good Lord teaching me something here? Is this something because of, I've done? And how do I not come back? Because if the good Lord's teaching me a lesson, let me tell you, I want to learn it right away. And that's one of my prayers right away is, you know what, Jesus, make sure that I learn this lesson. Make sure that I understand what you're trying to teach me. And that's the way I look at all adversity. It's just an opportunity to learn something about yourself, about the way you do things, about the way you converse. So there's always an opportunity to grow. And I think that's a very positive thing to do. And I think if more people were doing that, we'd be much better off. And lastly, maintain your routines. It is the easiest thing to do when things are going sideways, when there's just, again, it's like a shit show out there to let go of those things that you were doing before you started and this situation that you're in right now hits, right? So for me, going to the gym, I've maintained that. In the last uh, couple of weeks, I have not missed the gym and it's something that I look forward to now because I know I, for me, and again, start going back to my previous videos, starting your day off right, again, getting yourself into a state that's positive and then you can attack the world or well, since the world's attacking you, it seems like, it's something that you, you can control. So getting your state right. So I hope these three steps that I've just provided for you is something that you're doing already. And if you're not, hoping that you can maybe implement these to help yourself moving forward. It's not if, but it's when things are gonna go sideways. So for all those of you struggling through a difficult time, again, give it to the Lord, learn from the lesson and maintain your routines. And I, I pray that everyone that is watching this, uh, I've, I've helped a little bit and you guys can actually uh, implement some of this. So again, thank you for watching Tom and Sense. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And again, remember, Tom and Sense, because common sense isn't so common.